If you are a human being and then a developer and then you don't know obsidian then trust me bro you are missing out something really great that will make your life easier So what is obsidian a very used notion if yes then is the daddy of notion Obsidian is a note taking and knowledge management application that utilizes a system called markdown for format That's what chat gpt gave me Okay, this time really jokes apart. Obsidian is like a second brain for you, where you can store and organize anything you want, from your notes to your daily journal or your ideas or projects or tasks or to dos. I mean, literally anything. And unlike Notion, where you get a limited space on cloud, Obsidian is a software that utilizes your computer's local storage. This means that your data is stored directly on your device's memory, providing you unlimited storage. i mean the storage available on your pc with full control and ownership of your information i think that's enough intro let me show how i use it so we can create multiple vaults in obsidian i have four main vaults my journal then javascript concepts dsa and college let's take a look at my javascript vault and by the way this is not a tutorial video we are just exploring amazing things that you can do here so there are a lot of things to do here and bro 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 i'm so excited that i've listed them here so that i don't miss any of them let's see each of them one by one the first one is creating files and folder just like any other usual software let's say i want to study callback functions in javascript so i will create a new file here say callback functions let's put a heading Let's write something and let's write something more. Now I want to add some code here, so I can just use three backticks, and then we have a pretty embedded code editor here. We want to add a JavaScript code, so I will write JavaScript here, and then I'll paste my code here. By the way, it supports multiple languages like C, C plus plus, Python, Rust, Java, etc. And now, you know what? We can run it here itself. So I'll click this run button and this is our output isn't that amazing also we can add our own media here so let's add an image here i'll paste it also i can decide its width or alignment here itself i usually use this feature to add stickers of my favorite anime character anya foja whenever i feel excited or confused over a code we can add videos to i'll just use find and replace cuz i use vs code And now one of my most favorite feature in Obsidian we can link one file to other files too just like wikipedia or mdn doc style so i have this one file called promises and i want to link this promises file in this callback function file because you know they are related and by adding these pair of square brackets our file is linked so if i click this i will reach the promises file and i use this feature all over my workspace like here 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 and here and you know what what this thing do it creates a beautiful amazing mind blowing graph view for us this is actually the visualization of how files are linked to each other and whenever i see this graph i recall everything like how this this keyword is related to the arrow functions and execution context or this function object is connected to the prototype and the call bind and apply methods this is so dope and the next feature we have is embedding our favorite drawing tool that is xcali draw i can create a new drawing here let's rename this drawing and i want to embed it here there we go this is embedded we can change its width and also the alignment and if you want to edit this file in the future you can just double click it here make your changes go back to your file and these are the changes isn't that super amazing i mean like you have added a dynamic image which you can edit resize or realign any time The next thing is appearance. You can change your theme. There are hundreds of theme available, but I like this default one. And you can change your font family too. Let's go to my journal vault for other features. So this is my journal. Here I have some folders. Let's talk about this days folder. The days folder is connected to this mini calendar. Every day at 12 a.m. midnight, a new page automatically adds in this day folder. And in these days, I usually write how my day went in short and. 
any unusual or special experiences or realizations on that particular day we can navigate to a particular day using this mini calendar then i have this learnings folder where i make notes of some rare realizations i have or something new that i've learned so that i can revisit them in the future then we have this big calendar here where i can plan and visualize some of my next months this really helps me from getting lost and keeping myself aware of my track and in the end we can add multiple habit trackers you can add for uh, tracking your waking up time sleeping time or working hours like extra but i don't use them personally just added this for your knowledge because i like keeping things simple and i don't want to over complicate things so that's a brief introduction on how you can use obsidian to increase your productivity as a developer i hope you learned something and liked it thank you for watching